Bro. Hey man, what's happening? Why is your camera following me? Oh, it's got this new little, it's my new little gadget. Like, that thing, how? So how that white little thing that? on top? Of, the, it's this intelligent tracker by really? DJI. Yeah, that little thing there. But how? It's crazy. It oh, just, that thing there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What have you got what, there? This, this, this yeah, is yeah. The, uh, the Raven Eye. This is how I normally track myself. You know, it's a, it's a radio transmitter, but it also has the capability of doing active track. How does it work? Well, so How basically work? you connect it to the bottom of the gimbal and you connect a bunch of wires to it and you use your phone to connect wires. it. No, we don't use wires really? This is just so good. Clip on top of the camera. So and... how, how does it work? So so if you put your hand up in front of it. My hand? What, what like yep. so? Yep, that's it, that's it. Okay. Yep. And it will just start tracking you. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. And you put it up again like like so? Yeah, that's to stop it. So one hand to stop up and then again oh, wow. to stop it. That is absolutely and amazing. And if it's you want so to take responsive a, as well. Yeah, and if I'm you want to take in the center. And if you want really to like that. And if you these this you're not listening to me, are you? And if so you I want to stop and start recording, stop you use like the peace sign. Yeah, that's correct. Center. That's wild. Yeah, and if I want to start, stop, record, I just go peace sign. That's cool, right? Epic. That's amazing. Yes. It's wild. I really enjoyed that. I'm glad you did. Bro, this, this is amazing stuff. Like, I, I know. love. I think I'm going to just throw this in the bin now. <laughs> but to be honest, no, this is still pretty good because it's yeah. a radio transmitter. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's able of transmitting video over a yeah. phone or anything that mm -hmm. you, you're able to run your Ronin on. So yeah. I still think it's viable. I think so too, but they both oh, have okay, cool. I understand. Yeah. Yeah. But that yeah. thing, yeah, <laughs> this is, yeah, it's amazing. That's amazing. Hey guys, what is up? So today I want to talk about a new product that DJI just released and that is the RS4 Mini. Nah. Today I want to talk about the RS4 intelligent sensor that you can buy separately to upgrade your rs4 gimbal i i own the rs4 pro so i just when i'm bought myself this um module so now i can do active track without any gimbal now before this came out you could only do active track on any other dji gimbals using the dji raven eye i'm not going to get into that too much but if you want to see what that's all about i'll place the video in the description down below or you can just click on this link right here and go over to see what the raven eye is all about it is an amazing piece of gear which allows you to transfer video to any mobile that allows you to run the Ronin app, but it also allows you to active track, just like the Osmo mobiles and the drones by drawing a box around a subject. Whereas with this guy, there's no drawing of any box. Literally, you click on top of your RS4 with the adapter that comes with it, and you literally start tracking by using hand gestures, or if you wanna track a subject in front of you, you point your camera at the subject and just click the trigger button, and it will start active tracking the subject and i'm telling you this thing is crazy good it is so good that i am now gonna revert to that rather than using my raven eye now when dji released the rs4 mini i was thinking oh my goodness what is this got over the rs3 mini i had no luck at all with rs3 mini i literally that thing could not handle my canon r5 mark ii paired with any of my sigma art lenses it would literally flop all the time and it was annoying i literally had it for a week and i i sold it or i because i couldn't send it back so i was a bit skeptical about rs4 uh, mini and i just thought i'm happy with my rs4 pro and then when i realized that you can purchase this separately i was happy jumped on the website i got it in my hands and i've had it for a couple of days now and i'm telling you guys this thing is amazing this is now going to be my go-to tracking for tracking myself when i'm doing bts when i'm doing in studio shoots for tracking subject when i'm on set sometimes it's nice to do some to get some really cool gimbal movement and your gimbal sometimes doesn't obey you so i think with this i'm going to 
be successful in that department. And it's a very simple, guys. There's no wires involved. All you do is you click this on top of your RS4 uh, Pro or your RS4 and literally, literally voila, and it's ready to go. Hand gesture, start, stop, and it's ready to go. It is that simple. First of all, though, you will need to upgrade your firmware on your DJI RS4 Pro or your RS4 to be able to run this module. I am telling you guys, it is a worthy upgrade if you are into tracking, self-tracking, or you're not too good with the gimbal movement and you want to do some really cool tracking, this guy will save you. Sadly, I'm, I'm a bit upset that it comes in this color. I would have loved a black version, but I guess later on Gija, I will do that and I'll probably end up buying it because I want everything to be color coordinated. Ha! <sighs> DJI, how dare you? How dare you? But yes, um, I will quickly show you how it's connected to the Ronin. And yeah, it's it's a quick video. It wasn't nothing long. I just wanted to share my excitement about this new product. Uh, I've got two more products to review on this channel quite soon. So stay tuned, stay blessed, one love. Now I'm gonna quickly show you how this is connected to your RS4 or your RS4 Pro and yeah. Okay, guys, this is how easy this guy is for setup. So you have your gimbal, you have your, uh, your adapter, and you literally push this. Um, there's a locking, there's a locking uh, mechanism here, which makes sure you're up. You literally put this on the back of the gimbal like so, and you lock that into place. And then you get your RS4, intelligence sensor and you literally put it on top of there make sure it's clicked in and that's it voila it's done and all you've got to do is literally put your gimbal on like so and you're ready to track it is that simple now if you want to go into the settings and you know change things around slow it down make it more active and change all the settings you will need to go into the screen you swipe left to right and you will see all the active track settings now you've got um composure which i keep frame which means you can wherever you start the tracking you can then keep the press in, in that thing so if you want to track in the corner the middle or the left it, the gimbal will always track or if you just want to simply keep them in the center you can do that there and it will obey this is very very accurate um, you can set the speed here to slow medium i normally keep it on slow because i like that really nice slow movement but i guess if you're going to film something like a very like a fast moving object you might want to track a little bit faster um, and then you've got a ring light, which is a light on the front of the sensor, which shows you um, whether you're tracking or you're on the video or not, which I think is great to put on. And this is where you do your hand gestures and, and you can change them from full hand, uh, bunny finger or a peace sign. Um, but I keep it on a hand. That's nice for start stop. And for capturing, I keep it on the peace sign. I think it's pretty easy to do. But right, that's it for me, guys, today. This is a short one. It was a quick one. There's nothing more I could show you or tell you because there's lots of stuff on the internet about it. I just wanted to let you know that if you are an RS4 uh, gimbal holder or RS4 Pro, you are not left in the dark. TJI did not leave you out. They made sure that you are able to still run this new product so you don't have to go buy the mini to be able to work it. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for showing this channel some love. And if you're new here, thank you also. You know these days YouTube has become super, super difficult to keep running. And it's because of you guys that help my channel uh, running. So until the next video, guys, peace. I'm out.